Okay, I think what the problem was was um, I. I, I kind of always regretted that 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 post fight interview. I should have said I should have said more in terms of not talk bad, but like more of a hype. I, I was I think I was too respectful, and those type of things kind of turned turned Dana and Joe and those guys off, you know. Because after that fight, I didn't really get a whole I didn't get as much love as I should have got, you know. Um, they loved me in terms of like they loved the aggression, they loved the fight, all that stuff. Um, but then like uh, my next fight when I fought Hermes Franca. Judd, he had just beat one of my buddies, Rich Crunkleton, who trains with me. And he had tore his arm basically fucking all the way off, tore his elbow and everything. Ugh. And so um, I, I just told Dana in the cage, I said, I want that fucking fight next. I said, give me that fight next. And it took him a while. It took him like fucking five or six months to even offer me the fight. I'm like, what are you waiting on? Like, I already beat, I beat Gerald. This guy beat my teammate. There's a storyline there. You know, uh, we had probably the fight of the night that night. You know, Hermes and I, it was one of the best fights. And they, they, it was so good that they replayed it at UFC 45, 40, 47. Because we fought at UFC 46. They ended up replaying it in-house at UFC 46, 47 because it was such a good fight. I mean, the fucking crowd went nuts because I was piecing them up and tearing them apart on the ground. I don't have feet everywhere the first two rounds. And then he dropped me in the, the end. Of, he dropped me in the beginning of the third. He beat the shit out of me for about three minutes. I oh. got my ass kicked, man. It was so bad. There was a couple times that the ref almost stopped the fight, Larry Landless, and he almost stopped the fight. And um, yeah, but I mean, if you if I would have said like in that round, it could have potentially have been a 10-8 round. So in the new scoring, I I might have been a draw. That's how that's how crazy the fight was. But I was tell I tell people this all the time. That was the fight that opened my eyes to me. I always wanted to know if I was a real fighter. Was I a quitter or was I somebody that like won the, like I was always a guy that I felt like I was always having the advantage in every fight that I had had up until then. The Victor Estrada fight, I had to dig deep. Yeah, sure. But I was never like in a lot of trouble. I was just tired. And I knew he kept coming. I was like, he was starting to break me mentally. I was like, fuck, this guy keeps going, you know, and I was getting exhausted. But this fight is where I got rocked. I got dropped. Like I was getting beat on for about two and a half to three minutes. There was like a minute left in the round. I was able to actually get back to my feet. I finished the round harder than him. He was so exhausted from punching himself out on my face. And so it was one of those fights where I, knew, I wanted to know, was I, was I only good when I was a bully or when I was in the lead or was I really a fighter? And to grit down and get through it and all those things, it was that, that was the fight that let me know that I was real. You know, so, you know, Josh, I talk about it a lot. I said, a lot of guys are really good at being the head. Check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms.